السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان شاء اللہ بفور وی اسٹارٹ دس پروگرام آئی وڈ لائک ٹو انوائٹ آور ایکسٹنگوش گیسٹ ٹو کم اینڈ ڈائس فرسٹ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو انوائٹ دا سی ای او آف ہیرا گروپ نہیرا شیخ آن دا ڈائس آئی وڈ لائک ٹو آلسو انوائٹ نسرین فاطمہ وائف آف شیخ اشرت بشیر مدنی آن دا ڈائس I would like to invite Mr. Rashid Malik, the general manager of Hira Group UAE on the dais. I would like to invite Sheikh Ashad Bashir Madani on the dais. Thank you very much. Inshallah, we will start the program with the recitation of the Noble Quran. We have with us the famous Alim and Dai from Hyderabad, India, Sheikh Ashad Bashir Madani. Inshallah, Sheikh will recite a part of Surah Rahman. I request Khari Ashad Bashir Madani to recite Surah Rahman and start this program. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم آن رب الم 
المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي على ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما المرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشات في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ما تكذبان كل من عليها فان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام فبأي آلاء ما تكذبان يسأله ما في السماوات والأرض كل يوم هو في شأن فبأي آلاء ربك ما تكذبان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان سنفر لكم أيها الثقلان سنفر لكم أيها الثقلان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يا معشر الجن والإنس إن استطعتم إن استطعتم أتفضوا أتفضوا من أقطار السماوات من أقطار السماوات والأرض فافضوا فافضوا لا تافضون إلا بسلطان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يرسل عليكما شواظ من نار ونحاس فلا تنتصران فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فإذا 
وَشَقَّتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ وَرَدَةً كَالدِّهَانِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ فَيَوْمَ إِذٍ لَّا يُسْأَلُ عَن ذَنبِهِ عَذَابٌ بِهِ صَلَاجٌ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ يُعْرَفُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ بِسِيمَاهُمْ يعرف المجرمون بسيماهم يعرف المجرمون بسيماهم فيؤخذ بالنواصي والأقدام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان هذه جهنم التي يكذب بها المجرمون يطوفون بينها وبين حميم آن فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان Jazakallahu khaira, Sheikh, for the wonderful recitation. Let me introduce myself to all of you. My name is Muhammad Nasruddin Khan. I am the CTO of Creden Group and a business consultant for Hira Group of companies. Inshallah, today I will be the anchor for this program on the invitation of Hira Group. Today, 15th of March, 2014, we all are assembled here in Masara Auditorium, Khazba, Sharjah, United Arab Emirates. And to witness the milestone achieved by Hira Group of Companies under the able leadership of Sheikha Nuhera in the journey towards creating an interest-free world. She is also popularly known as APA. Alhamdulillah, all praises be to Allah. Hira Group of Companies, Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Ms. Nuhera Sheikh, and aspirational businesswoman firmly believes in the ayat of the Noble Quran from Surah Baqarah, Surah number 2, Ayah number 275, where the Lord of all the worlds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has permitted trade, but has forbidden usury, which means interest. Alhamdulillah, taking this Ayah of Noble Quran as the inspiration by Ms. Nuhaira Sheikh is in practically striving towards creating an interest-free business environment. Therefore, all the activities of Hira Group revolves around the slogan, Towards an Interest-Free World. Inshallah, by the end of this program, I'm sure that you will be more than convinced about the Hira Group and also in your minds where to invest the money you have with you without involving into interest. Let me share with you the flow of today's program. Inshallah, first we will have English speech by Nasreen Fatima, wife of Sheikh Ashad Bashir Madani on the topic role of women in halal earning followed by speech 
by Mr. Rashid Malik on how Hira works, followed by speech of Sheikh Ashad Bashir Madani in Urdu on the topic Dua Khubul Hone Ke Liye Halal Haram Me Farakh Zaruri. And then finally, the main talk of the program by the CEO, Ms. Nuhera Sheikh, who will be presenting her views and the annual report, followed by Isha Salah and the dinner after the program. Now let me give a brief background and business activity of Hira Group. Alhamdulillah, all praises be to Allah. Hira Group started its operation in the year 1998 with a vision to create an interest-free business environment by delivering its clients with bona fide products globally. With Allah's help and well-spirited efforts of our CEO, Ms. Nuhera Sheikh, we are moving towards our growing at an exponential rate. In a period of over 16 years since inception, the group grew many folds, delivering quality to its customers and profits to its key members. Hira Group of Companies is a well-established entity with business of diverse nature. The group has diversified on an extensive scale, such as Hira Group Imports and Exports, Hira Investments, Hira Textiles, Hira Electronics, Hira Jewelries, and Hira Foodex. Alhamdulillah, Hira Group is an organization of high integrated resources, such as competent management and dedicated manpower and well-laid marketing network. Our logistics are superior in comparison to many other through which we religiously meet prefixed deadlines. We are into business trading and product manufacturing and have a strong presence in a quite a few, though chiefly centered in Dubai, Mali, and West Africa. We are also networked with a few transcontinental nations for all business concerns. Hira Group has demonstrated a consistent presence in the industry by ensuring timely deliver deliveries of all our products and services which are paramount to business and has established a magnificent lead owing to our client-centered cooperation philosophy. The reach of our business is geared up to stretch across a globe, though the trust that we have earned, which has consistently strengthened the group and has enabled us to visualize the future. Inshallah, we will start the speech sessions now. Before I invite Ms. Nasreen Fatima, wife of Sheikh Ashad Bashir Madani, I would like to give a very brief introduction of her. Ms. Nasreen Fatima has done masters in microbiology. She has an extensive 10 years of dawa experience through TV, TV presentations, lectures, and dawa training programs nationally as well as globally. I would like to call upon Ms. Nasreen Fatima to come her here and deliver her talk. Alhamdulillahi wahda. Was salatu was salamu ala malla nabiya ba'da. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal-insa illa liya'budun. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. 
ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي respected delegates on the dais respected dr nawhera sheikh ma'am respected elders in the audience my dear brothers and sisters i welcome all of you with the islamic greetings assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh meaning may the peace mercy and blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you the topic of my talk is the role of women in halal earning before i begin my talk let me make it very clear and let me bring to your attention that islam gives equal rights to women as that of men equal and unique as a woman is equal economic rights as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah nisa surah number 4 ayat number 11 and 12 equal educational rights as we can find in surah alaq surah number 96 ayat number 1 to 5 equal social rights as we can find in surah nisa surah number 4 ayat number 19 equal legal rights as we can find in surah nur surah number 24 ayat number 4 equal political rights as we can find in surah tauba surah number 9 ayat number 71 equal yet unique as a woman is i would like to discuss my talk the role of women in halal earning in three parts the first part being what is worship exactly in islam what does worship exactly mean in islam the second part the role a woman can play in helping in halal earnings and the third inshallah i will present to you the achievements of hira go what is worship in islam worship ibadah islam the word islam cannot be regarded as a mere name of a religion it is not just a name of a religion but islam is actually a deen it's a way of life and the rays of islam touch every aspect of a human life from the etiquettes of cleanliness to the etiquettes of ruling a country the rays of islam reach every aspect of a human life to understand what worship in islam is it means when an act is done in word or deed to please allah subhanahu wa taala and that act should be according to the holy quran the act should not contradict the teachings of the holy quran the act should be according to the traditions of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then that act is regarded as worship in islam i'd like to explain to you with a very common example in the early mornings when the children wake up for school and one of the mothers might find that their tiny child rubbing their eyes 
and asking the mother, Mommy, why do I have to go to school every day? The correct answer by a Muslim mother should be, because, because you are worshipping Allah, my son. You are going to school because this is worship in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Zariyat, Surah number 51, Ayat number 56, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That I, Allah, have created not the men and jinn except to worship me. And the mother should teach the child. Now, every act that you do, make sure that it converts into worship to Allah so that you get rewarded. You get rewarded for brushing your teeth, you get rewarded to going to school, even though it's so difficult for you. Similarly, when a person is helping in the awareness of a halal business, the people who are promoting a halal business, the people who are working for a halal business, and the people who are trying to stop the haram businesses, they are actually worshipping in Islam. They are actually doing ibadah. Because it's very easy to understand that when a person prays or offers his salah or gives charity to the poor or helps a person, it's very clear that this is a good act, this is a good deed which Allah will record. But in Islam, the benefits are so beautiful that not just these good deeds that you can easily see with your eyes, but preventing the haram, preventing the forbiddance of whatever Allah has forbidden man, preventing to do bad deeds is also a good deed in Islam. That will also be regarded as a good deed by Allah. That is also ibadah. So when we try to promote, try to advertise, try to help businesses which promote halal business, businesses which are according to the Holy Quran and the traditions of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we are actually doing ibadah. Now coming to women and their role in halal earning, how can they help? The very first example, history speaks it all. The first person to accept Islam, a woman, Khadija radiallahu anha. She was a great business woman, alhamdulillah. A great business woman who had given her wealth tremendously in the cause of Allah. The first person who had accepted Islam 